What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. This is the Gemini Just April 2021 releases, and quite frankly, this is yet another really good release from Gemini. But yeah, that being said, let's get started. Starting off, we have this American CRJ 900 LR. This, this is going to sell out so fast, you guys. You guys do not even know how fast this is going to sell out. This is just one of those models going to sell out really fast. Like, I looked on our model store, like, right now I'm filming this at 5 p.m. The day that these releases came out, at this point, the releases are two, two uh, hours old. And already, the American Eagle sold out our RM model store. And I'm really hoping it doesn't sell out. Um, I did contact Diecast Airplane Store and asked them if I could get one because uh, I said I got... Uh, so I was able to get a few Delta CRJ 900 ERs from the last release, but they reduced my order down to one. So uh, the money that get that I'm getting, that I basically bought the three Delta CRJ 900s for, I have left over. So I'm probably gonna get one of these. Of course, every single model store is limiting it to one as they don't want a repeat of the Delta CRJs where you have to, um, pardon me, where uh, they cancel orders. So yeah, this, this model is really selling out fast, but yeah. It's a normal American Eagle livery, which uh, it's PSA, uh, November five eight four November November. Um, the price is forty two ninety five, and I actually want to see how Gemini is gonna do with the coloring of the fuselage, because I know that Gemini just has a problem of uh, just the coloring of the fuselage in general. So I hope that Gemini ends up changing that. But yeah, uh, moving on down the line, we have two China Airlines triple seven Fs, and I, I noticed that Gemini is actually starting to do this with. Uh, they're starting to do this a lot with many of their 1 400 1 200 models. They're releasing two of them each release in each scale. So, like, this is the China Airlines Cargo 777. So, the only difference between uh, this one and the other one, which is right here, the 777F, is that this one has uh, it has a flaps down configuration. The flaps and slats are facing down. So, that's really the only difference between these two. Uh, the registration on this one is Bravo 18771, and this one Bravo 18771. So, basically, the same registration except one with the flap slats extended. Uh, this is what it looks like. One more. Let's take one more look at it. Uh, both, well, the one that doesn't have the flaps, so the normal one has $57.95, and the one with the flaps and slots excited is uh, $61.95. Moving on down the line, we have this Eastern Airlines 757-200. Now, looking at this release, they actually have... They have a lot, a lot of um, retro models this release. We have this Eastern 757, uh, as you guys will see as we move down, we have a New York Air, we have a US Air Royal Jordanian. We have a lot of retro-ish models in this release. So I feel like this release is, oh gosh. Okay, okay, sorry, I thought I was gonna see these, but uh, this release is a lot more geared towards retro collectors, I feel. This is an Eastern 757 200. This is obviously in a polished chrome, yeah, polished metal. Um, this is what looks like normal Eastern livery registrations, the number 502 Echo Alpha and 502 EA. Uh, and it's 5095. Now, once again, Gemini and I have decided to raise their prices, uh, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, Gemini and I have decided to raise their prices once again. 4295 for an American CRJ. Good job, Gemini. They, they, they just keep raising their prices. It's ridiculous, but uh, yeah, forty two ninety five for a regional. But uh, anywho, this one's fifty ninety five for seven fifty seven two hundred, which is nuts in my mind. But uh, yeah, moving on down the line, we have this Emirates A three eighty. This is in the Expo twenty twenty livery. Looks nice. Um, I still believe that Emirates A three eighty s are grounded. I think they're only operating a few of them as of uh 2021 due to the pandemic so this i don't really know if a lot of collectors are gonna get i know my friend elijah aviation or school dubai i know that he's gonna get it uh because of course he does dubai but um yeah i don't really know if a lot of collectors are gonna get this because the a380 sort of is a dying breed of aircraft uh but yeah registration is alpha 6 echo uniform delta or a6 eud price is 66.95 and of course it's in the expo 2020 degree. it's basically just a normal emergency 380 except with the little expo 2020 sticker slapped onto it uh, but yeah, the price is sixty six ninety five for an A three eighty. Sixty six dollars. That's nuts. Anywho, moving on to the line. By the way, you guys, I don't really need any of these. Uh, the only one that I'm so far going to get is the American Airlines CRJ nine hundred. Um, I'm probably just going to resell it. Uh, as I don't need Ameri uh, American CRJ 900. I do need the 737 Max and 737 800. 
Uh, so, Gemini, I do really set in the future, then I will definitely go for that. But, uh, yeah. Anywho, moving on down the line, we have this FedEx uh, MD11. This is what it looks like. Um, normal FedEx MD11, just in their normal livery, as you guys can see. Uh, looks pretty nice. The registration is the number 604 Foxtrot Echo and 604 FE. And the price is $53.95. Now, this... Um, if I had money, I definitely would go for two of these. FedEx, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Newark is a big hub for cargo airlines. Um, not, I wouldn't say big, but for FedEx, it's a really big cargo hub. UPS, not so much. UPS only flies to Louisville, but uh, Louisville and Paris Charles gone, sometimes Anchorage, but uh, FedEx, they fly to everywhere. They fly to Memphis. They fly to almost every single one of their hubs uh, from Newark. They even fly to their, I think, Hong Kong hub, which is like once or twice a month. Uh, so they do fly the MD-11 to Newark, so probably if I had money, I would get this, but I don't at the moment, so I can't, but, uh, yeah, anywho, moving on down the line, we have another retro model, this is the New York Air MD, what is it, 82, um, so basically, those of you don't know, New York Air was a failed airline, uh, it, it, it flopped within a few months of it launching, uh, I don't really know much about it, um, but I'm probably gonna research it, uh, after the, after I film this video, but yeah, registration is number eight, eight oh five, I think. Um, yeah, November eight oh five, November Yankee, and eight oh five, and wine. The price is forty four ninety five for a tiny rinky dink piece of metal. Like I, I, I'm a collector too, but like, it's getting nuts at this point. Forty four ninety five for something the size of a seven three seven is nuts, especially considering Gemini's quality control. But yeah. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. But uh, yeah, moving on online, we have a Nippon Cargo Airlines 7478 Interactive. Uh, so this is another, This is going to be Gemini's. Uh, this is going to be the next edition to Gemini's Interactive Series. It actually, it actually looks really, really nice. This would be actually something that would be really cool to custom. Uh, but this would actually be pretty hard to custom. But uh, this uh, this looks really, really nice. Uh, Gemini, I hope you're gonna do a good job on this every now. I'm personally a big sucker for Nip for Nip and Cargo's livery. I love it. Uh, it looks really aesthetically appealing to me. But uh, yeah, it's the Nip and Cargo 7478 registration is Juliet Alpha 14 Kilo Zulu JA 14 KZ. The price is $68.95. Moving on online, we have a Qantas Freight E321F. Now, I think, uh, I think it's this one, is it? Uh, I think this is one of the first, uh, E321 freighters, uh, I believe it's called. Uh, so this would be cool for those of you who do, who collect Australian models. So if those of you who do, like, Sydney airports or just Qantas hubs, this would be a model for you. But, uh, yeah, it's Australian Post partnership with Qantas Freight. It's a normal Qantas livery aircraft stuff with the Australian Post slapped onto it. Um... And uh, Richard's Victor Hotel Uniform Limited Delta VHUOD. The price is forty six ninety five. Moving on online, we have a Royal Jordanian Boeing seventy seven dash eight Dreamliner. The I love Royal Jordanian's livery. I don't know what it is about it, but I just love their livery. I, th I think it's really the black. The black, the black on the Boeing seventy seven fuselage really, really looks. The the shade of black really looks cool. But yeah, Royal Jordanian. And um. Yeah, so this is a Royal Jordanian 77-9 Dream Liner. It looks really, really cool. Registration is Juliet Tango Bravo Alpha Charlie. And my gosh, this this looks so, so good. Uh, but yeah, it's JTBAC. And the price is uh, $56.95. Moving on online, we have a US Air Boeing 737-300. Uh, this is, again, a model that's geared towards those of you who are retro collectors. Um, I know a lot of, um, okay, so, alright, you guys, I am back. Uh, sorry, uh, that I abruptly ended the recording. Uh, it's just that, uh, that guy's open store messaged me. I'm actually, I got four of those here, 100 ERs. Of course, I, like many other people's orders were reduced. I got that money refunded. So using that money, I'm getting an American CRJ 900 from uh, the April releases, and I'm also getting um, an NG Models uh, United 737-700 from NG's April 22 releases. So, um, yeah, but anywho, uh, that's why 
end of the recording because I was actually ordering uh, those two models. Uh, of course, the American uh, CRJ900, I'm of course going to be reselling uh, because I need the money. Uh, but uh, yeah, anything that's going on with Gemini's one to 200 April 2021 releases. So now with the 200 releases, we have this Aerologic Boeing 777F. Oh wow, this is interesting. Gemini's having a 1 to 200 interactive with, with. That's interesting. And they're also gonna have front doors. That's interesting. That open. Good job, Gemini. Um, this is gonna be popular with those of you who are European collectors. Um, there's really not much to say about that. You guys know I don't collect 1 to 200 models as of now. So, this really none of these models apply to me. But, uh, yeah. This was an airline 777F. Uh, registration was a Delta. Um, Alpha, Alpha, Lima Delta. And it's $152.95. My gosh. Um, oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. But, uh, yeah. Anywho, moving on online, We have an American TWA. 737-700, I believe it's called the TWA Heritage Delivery. Uh, yeah, TWA Heritage. Basically, um, I would buy this if Gemini made this in 1 to 400, because I obviously need an American 737-800. Uh, of course, I don't collect 1 to 200 models, so this doesn't apply to me, but, uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. Registration is November 915, November, November, um, November 915, November, November, and 915, NN, and the MSRP is 9495. We're going online. We have the same American 737-800 except with the flaps and slats down configuration. Um, it's the same registration and everything. This is just what it looks like. Of course, the price is, uh, what is it? $98.95. Four dollars more they're charging you just for a tiny piece of metal extending down. But, uh, whatever. That's Gemini. Yeah. Anywho, moving on online. We have an British BA City Flyer uh, E-170. This is what it looks like. I'd like to see, I'm, I'm pretty sure Aviation 18 is going to get this. I haven't watched his, I haven't watched any release videos yet. But I'm pretty sure Aviation 18 is going to get this. This is a British Airways E-175 in the BAC flyer livery. Um, I'm pretty sure Aviation 18 is going to get this. Uh, but yeah, um, not really much else to say about this. I We saw this in Gemini's Hints. Uh, um, like, at the bottom. So basically, uh, I'll show you guys right now. Um, when you go to just Gemini, just the website, this is uh, where you get the new releases, and then here you have hints. So they are hinting for another BACD fly in 1 to 200, so they obviously release it in 1 to 400, probably next month. Because uh, after Gemini does, they, pro they release it from 1 to 200, and then 1 to 400, but yeah. Alright, you guys, so I'm back. Once again, I'm sorry for the interruption. Uh, I had to go do something. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, I was talking about the BACD flyer. So they're hinting to it in 1 to 400. Now they've released it in 1 to 200. So they're probably going to release the 1 to 400 variant next month. Uh, because that's typically what Gemini Jets usually do when they have uh, these models, which means uh, it sort of is a hint, uh, some of these models, to what's to come with Gemini. Uh, because as you guys can see, um, Mo the uh, the Qantas Link Dash AQ200 was released a few releases ago in October 2020, um, and yeah, so it's kind of a hit. it's it's kind of hints, you know, the one to 200 Gemini Jets April releases, but uh, or any Gemini one to 200 release is a hint for future one to 400 releases. But uh, yeah, the BA City Flyers registration is Golf Lima Charlie Yankee Golf GLCYG, and the price is 87.95. Gemini. Oh my god. $200. And this isn't even Canadian dollars. This is American dollars. What? This is a China Airlines Boeing 747-400F. And my god, is this expensive. $202.95. My gosh. Jim is practically raping people at this point. My god. This is the China Airlines Cargo Interactive um, 747F and 1 to 200. Uh, Rotation is Bravo 18710, B18710. It has optional doors closed, but like. <laughs> Jim and I are not okay mentally. What? $202. I could literally buy eight or nine Gemini Jets for that price. That's ridiculous. My gosh. Anywho, moving on online, we have this Delta Airbus A330-900neo. 
Um, now, Gemini, De Gemini Deaths did release this way, way back when. I think it was sometime in 2019 they released this, so now they're finally releasing a 1 to 4, which is actually the same registration, too. Uh, normal Delta AT3900 Neo livery um, registrations number 401 Delta Zulu and 401 DZ. Uh, and the price is one hundred forty dollars and ninety five cents. You know, Gemini, keep, keep keep putting your prices higher. See what happens. It, it really drives me nuts that that Gemini are practically raping people of money at this point. It, it's ridiculous. Anywho, moving on down the line, we have this uh, Boeing P eight Poseidon run by the Australian Air Force. As you guys can see, there's a kangaroo. Um, they kind of, they kind of copy the RAF emblem, uh, except they added a kangaroo in the middle. But uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. It's pretty generic. Um, Gemini Max or one to two hundred. This is one to two hundred, by the way. This is typically this is a typical Gemini one to two hundred. Uh, Restrictions Alpha four seven zero zero three A four seven zero zero three. Once again, it's a PA Poseidon, uh, and it's ninety eight ninety five. Of course, Gemini keep hiking their prices up because you know that's what they like to do. Anyway, moving on online, we have the Southwest 77700 in the classic retro livery, otherwise known as the Desert Gold. Uh, now, this is actually the same registration as the one that was released in Gemini's March 20 releases, which is up here. And by the way, yeah, the Delta Connection sold out almost immediately, but uh, yeah, uh, just like the, coincidentally, just like the American CRJ, but uh, anyway, uh, uh, I'm sorry, but um, yeah, like I said. The Boeing PA Poseidon, uh, here we have the Southwest, it's the same one as, uh, the 1 to 400 one, and I swear, this is what the, the 1 to 400 one looks like, Gemini and I completely botched the color, and there's a paint chip up there, what? <laughs> Anywho, uh, they completely botched the color, but, um, I hope they're not gonna botch the color on this one, because people are paying 94 and 98 dollars, respectively, for the flaps and slats extended, which is 98, which is a bit more expensive, but, uh, yeah, I hope Gemini doesn't botch the color. But, uh, yeah, really, if I had money, what I would probably get from this release is, well, I, of course, I already got the, uh, American Bombardier CRJ900 LR. Um, if I do have money, I'm probably gonna get the McDonnell Douglas MD11F, but right now, I'm really focusing on, um, NG models, April 2020 releases, because those ones are just really, really good. But, um, yeah, that's really all I would get from this release. I don't really need anything from it. Probably, I'm probably just gonna wait until Gemini releases a really good 7478, like the Atlas Air, and then when they do, snipe that one. Uh, I think they already did, but when they re-release it. But, uh, yeah. That being said, that does conclude this release video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe to the notification bell so you videos. Oh, and by the way, I'm posting this at, uh, hopefully I'm gonna be posting this on Wednesday night. Uh, basically, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually gonna post on my Instagram story right now after the, after I finish filming this video. But um, tomorrow, which is Thursday, April twenty uh, second, two thousand and twenty one, uh, four twenty two, twenty twenty one, I'm posting a Earth uh, not Earth Day. I'm, I'm just hosting a live stream, and I actually have, I'm actually gonna be hosting a live stream with two special guests. I'm gonna be hosting with Aviational Six and Citrus Aviation. Uh, on Thursday, April 22nd, which is tomorrow, April 22nd, 21 at 6.30 p.m. EST. So, uh, you guys should really look forward to that. That's going to be really, really fun. Uh, and probably what I'll do is after the live stream tomorrow, I'll link on the top of this video so you guys can see for those of you who watch in the future. But, uh, yeah, once again, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.